Okay, it's sorry. Time. There you go. It's showtime. Get oak. Uh, Kelly here. Uh, Diane. Diane here. Uh, Carolyn. You're here, Holly. Yep. Here. It keeps it. I I just had it freeze up again. So if I disappear, I'll try to get back on. But this is my third try. Okay. Well, you're here now, at least. So that's that's good. Um, I'm pretty sure Jay's still absent here. Um, okay, we have visitors stand here. Alex. Okay. Uh, and Jean. All right, it's now 6.30, well, it's probably 6.35 when we started before. Um, are there any agenda items uh, to be added to the agenda tonight that weren't on the agenda that was distributed? Uh, hearing none, we'll move on. First order of business is to approve the minutes of the November 27th meeting. Carolyn, you're muted. I know. Oh, oh, you're just raising your hand. So is it? <laughs> you're still muted. I don't know what happened. Um, am I? Can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Oh, yes, okay. I will make the motion to approve the minutes as presented. I will second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? I, I, Carolyn. I think we I all. Kelly. And Diane. Holly, did you? Did I'm, you? I'm going to abstain because I was not at the last meeting. Already? Okay. okay. If you've read the minutes, you can vote. Um, okay, well, I then I'm not going to speak to it because... I'd have to go back and refresh my memory. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, the first new item on the agenda, and really the only new item we have to discuss tonight, is the uh, time capsule. Um, Stan uh, had prepared a uh, really nice presentation on uh, the time capsule, uh, what he was looking to conceive of, and... and uh, Stan, do you want to talk to that for a sec? I think I'll let our president speak on that, Alex. Okay, I'll make this quick. Um, I, I assume that everybody at least took a quick look at um, what we sent over. Um, essentially, the idea is that um, the friends would really like to put the time capsule on the ground um, this spring, um, and maybe we could work something out for Founders Day so that that is the day that we put it in the ground. Um, I, I think it's important for us to do that. Um, again, as I said in um, in our proposal that, um, you know, we're all getting older and um, it would be nice to kind of cap off the 350th once and for all um, and, and truly be um, all said and done. Um, we talked about the library a little bit. Um, I, I'm not opposed to that personally, um, but the idea that we pro, uh, proposed was to put um, a stone um, with the time capsule um, on the um, current town hall property next to those arborvitaes, still leaving room um, for a, a new driveway if the police department um, decides to do that or um, some other creative idea. Um, and then a sort of a pipe dream was to um, maybe extend the sidewalk that um, is right in front of the town hall to the asphalt sidewalk. And then maybe um, add like paver, uh, paving stones um, leading up to the um, time capsule and, and the stone do some landscaping and um, what have you. So um, I, I think that's 
the, the really short version is we'd like to get it in the ground. Um, however, wherever we're at, um, I actually found a way that you can register your time capsule. Um, I can I can share some of those links um, so that even if something does happen, um, if we don't do a stone for some reason or another, um, that there's like a, a whole international society that um, registers time <laughs> capsules and um, they're they have all this data about you know what it's made out of, what's inside, um, who did it, things like that. Um, and they have um, it, it's going to be all mapped, or they're the ones that are currently done are mapped. Um, and I believe a couple of years ago, well, actually almost ten, um, Hopkin or Hoptonton or something like that in Mass, Hopkinton, I, I think they did theirs for their three hundred and fiftieth as well. So, um, or three hundredth. So they registered it, and um, I just thought that was an interesting. I just started typing in time capsule and how did other people um, display it. So, um, I think that's really the super short version. Um, and I'm if I missed anything, Sam, let me know. Um, but at least no, that's enough. Got to, I think you got it all, Alex. Yeah, it, at least that's enough to get discussion started. I actually like the idea and where you put it because a lot of people do meet around the town offices, coming in, coming out. There's usually people just standing around talking. So the idea of putting the stone in and possibly building up um, something around it does sound appealing. I, I myself like that idea. Um, Carolyn, I'm wondering for the dreams of how some of our town property will move forward and some of the, I guess, planning. Was the town hall going to be moving over to the other building? Well, it's really hard to say at this point, but um, the, the there's no plans to move the police department at any time. So doing this in front of the police department seems to be is really safe um, that way. Uh, there's a $4 million earmark in the federal budget if it ever gets approved that's supposed to help us with the renovation of the 1888 building that will eventually be the town hall. Will the now current town hall stay and be our senior center or do we rip it down at some point? It's 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 just really hard to say because it all depends on grants and there's so many moving parts at this point, but I, I do like the fact that Alex was talking or the friends of Deerfield were talking about it in front of the police department, kind of off to the side. That's safe. I would say from, you know, long-term because none of our plans have the police department going anywhere. Cause that's yeah. then you okay. open up whole you have to comply with all the new codes and everything and that in itself is like probably a multi several multi-million dollar project so we we aren't doing anything with the police department at least halfway through i would say halfway through the, the next 50 years okay uh, so but who knows within the next 10 years whether we're going to have our current town hall or not and so the where we where Alex is talking about is safe, Holly, the bottom line, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's I think that I like the idea that it's more public than in a dead space next to the library, maybe. Um, because then people are coming and going. And hopefully this would be a more vibrant area as time goes on. So it would be more public. Plus the murals there also. Yeah, well, the mural was made to be movable to a renovated 1888 building if we have to. True, but at the I mean, present we, time, having yeah, the capsule, yeah, I mean, it was the whole point would, is nice. Yeah. yeah, the whole point was that's movable to wherever we are, but currently it is right next to the where the time capsule would be, kind of thing. Um, I actually really like the idea of ending on Founders Day. I think, I don't know what else we could think of for events, but um, 
burying the capsule on Founder's Day is kind of like a full cycle kind of thing. It oh. just, I th I, I think that's actually a really good idea because ra rather than a random day in the spring, you know, if you think about it, we we just said spring, but doing it on Founder's Day again makes a lot of sense. And we maybe we can tie in kids again. I don't know. But before I forget, can I just take one second to ask Stan, did you get the bell, Stan? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I did. Con the, so you got me that email and my heart stopped. I said, oh my God, where are the bells? I, I got them in the posters. Okay. okay. I got all the bells put away in, in a little tote already, ready for the time cap. So. Okay, perfect. Because I... When you sent sent me that email, I, I I really panicked. I said, "Oh my God, where are those bells?" Because I had left them in the conference room for you, and I thought no one would s steal bells. Why would they steal the bells? So, <laughs> oh. And then I was wondering if the stupid janitor might have taken them and thrown them out or something. And I was like, "Oh no," because because <laughs> Diane had them so organized in plastic bags. I didn't know if he would think it was trash. So it was like, "Oh my God," I was having nightmares. All right, sorry. Um, well, one thing, uh, Founders Day is May 7th, correct? Um, yep. Can we set a date of like Saturday the 11th or the week prior? I'm unfortunately not around at all the week prior, but we could at least set a date so they know when to start digging the hole and uh, whatever day it needs to be done. Holly, Holly? I'm just... Um, we've got to decide first what we're doing okay. for, you know, um, for a marker and then make sure we can get it on time. Because okay. again, you know, it could be a situation I know, you know, particularly with, um, you know, cemeteries, when somebody passes, sometimes you wait longer than you had hoped for, you know, to get things prepared. Actually, that's a really good point. I hadn't thought about that. Um, Stan, did you have any idea how long it takes to, you know, what's the um, lead time on, on those? When I spoke to the lady, she said we could definitely get it for, like, we, I was picking that May date. It would be oh, ready. Okay. Because okay. that, that makes, a, that's a really good point. So, I'm probably going to stir the hornet's nest, but um, when I look at this, and Stan, you can correct me if I'm totaling this right, we're adding the 3228 plus tax on that, and then the 425 and a 425 again for a base. Is that correct? There's, yes. The tax so we will, the tax we could have exempt because, um, if we go through our our group. Okay, all right, so we may have that exempt. Okay, so if I took that up. So we're looking at like $4,100. And I know that there's so many things going on in our town right now and fiscal issues are a hot button. And I would like to be careful that we are not um, we are not creating a situation where there's unfavorable light um, because as I understand this proposal, the town would be paying half of this based on how your wording was. Is that correct, Alex? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think we would appreciate that. Um, but if if the town can't, that, that that's okay. Um, just um just say so it doesn't have okay. to be today but um that's okay it would be great well, if we could share that but if not that's okay we can figure it out okay so i know i was not at the last meeting so my apologies for bringing this up tonight but we had talked a few meetings ago and i i know when i glanced at the minutes there was not any specific discussion on other options but Diane had brought up a great idea of doing a bench instead of a monument. I think that's it's kind of utilitarian because if people come, they can sit on it. Um, 
So to me, a stone is a stone and it'll get looked at occasionally, but if there was a bench out there um, to do a granite bench, um, I think that we just like, again, where, where it's being um, suggested, I think it would be kind of a, a nice spot to do a bench. And I contacted um, Swenson uh, Stone who does granite stuff in South Hadley and the engraving is is the big part of the cost and it, it he explained how they do their charges for that but roughly for about fifteen hundred dollars with engraving you would have to do some kind of stone um footing you know just some stones that could be easily done but you don't have to pour concrete it comes with the base and um it's kind of a cool idea to me that way the cost wouldn't be so prohibitive just a thought so is it is the bench it, the bench is granite it's granite okay and the the in the base would be stone well and that would well, well you put you put a pad of stone down and then there's a granite base and then okay. the top of it sits on it and they have you know you could go a little more expensive and do um kidney shaped but just a straight four foot granite bench okay is um i don't know it's just i i'm i'm looking just twofold you know being kind of a steward of the town with our committee here and the fact that there has been a lot of buzz about finances and i don't know i'm just trying to look at other ways is it a flat a flat bench or does it have a back it's a it's it's a flat you can do backed ones but those are more expensive sure okay um actually i was me that mentioned a bench when originally i thought it was going to be at the library and i just thought it was how many people are just going to come over and just stand and stare at a, at the markers wouldn't they rather sit down but looking at the proposal that Alex and Stan have come up with, I actually think maybe putting like a, in the future, uh, a landing, bringing chairs, they have the benches that are in the town offices. I, I actually like the idea that the stone could actually exist there if somehow it slowly incorporated benches around it. So I, I have to admit, I, I'm back to this, the upright stone idea. Uh, Holly, I only for the basis of just how do you get people to stand around uh, or approach the stone? I I I I like it at the town offices as opposed to being in front of the library, which just seemed you'd have to make people would have to make an effort to go there as opposed to casually walking by something. Not to make it easy for people, but you know. I I have to say I really like the idea of having it in this in this in the town hall by the town hall but also having it as a bench because then people might linger there actually i think this combination of if we combine it all but i i have to do, agree i would i myself was going to say that you know that we want to support this as a steering committee but you know we we're we're really going to have a hard, if this vote doesn't pass next week we really are going to have a, a tremendous hard time trying to come up with more, almost three million dollars, and um, by the time you add the whatever we in, uh, do for deficit spending for snow removal this winter, plus what we've already spent for roads that have to be spent ju ju um, June thirtieth. So I was going to just propose a limit of what we could do maybe 500 bucks or 750 or whatever anyone agreed to, but some more limited amount of money um, rather than half, just so we had more money to return to the town. And I'm, and it, only because we are in desperate financial straits. I, you know, I, I we're more than halfway through the year and there's just not a way to make up for that amount of money. So, uh, you know. And I, I think when we- experience. I, I think when I we, am, sorry, was the, was the bench, was there to, going to be a label on the bench too, or was it just for the bench, Holly? I, I, um, no, 
the the bench is like only less than a third of the cost. The engraving is the big expense. And the guy just told me roughly how they charge. He said he, he would have to look at the artwork, uh, you know, to give a definite price. Uh, but the bench itself is $400. The engraving that would go on the top of it. You know, the alternative is to do something less, I don't know, less involved as far as the engraving, because um, there's there's a lot of information on that um, proposed engraving. Um, what, what about the possibility of simply using a simple post and the bench next to it? Without, I I without also looked at hitch, like a hitching post. Yeah. Um, I I looked at those too, and those were pretty reasonable. Um, well, I'm but, just thinking about it in terms of Alex's comment about there's an organization that actually GPSs where time capsules are. That was that was the initial concern about oh we might lose track of it. I doubt it because <laughs> I think this will be really yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, archive. But if you had the hitching post and with some minimal uh, notation on that in terms of time capsule or um, a date when you're going to open it or the I, date I, is 2023 and then have the bench, if we're, if you combine the two, we're somewhere at a thousand dollars. If we have a, Five hundred dollars from the town and five hundred dollars from friends of Deerfield. Uh, we pretty much got the cost, and we got a new, nice new location for it. I like the design. I think one um, of the main things that friends of Deerfield really wants is a scone. It will keep with all the other scones around um, in in Deerfield and the two at um, that Chilson Library. If I think friends would gladly accept your five hundred dollars if we can if we put up that stone. And not have just a little marker or the bench. Bench, who is going to clean up when people sit there and throw their rubbish on the ground? So, Holly, did they get they're um... not going to leave cigarette butts at the marker either? I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. Did, did, did they give um, dimensions roughly of the bench? No, it doesn't have to be spe super specific, but roughly. It, it's um... okay if they didn't. Um, um, how do I share my screen? Because I have no clue how to do that. There should be a little green tab at the top of your screen that says share. Share screen. All right. Let me see if I can. It has a little arrow in the middle of it. All right. So so hang on one second. Um, I just want to get to the screen. So um, hang on right one down second. At the bottom, if you, if you put your cursor yep. over your whole thing, it says share screen blue on the bottom uh, green at the bottom with an yep. arrow yep just hang on one second i gotta just get to where um there were two pages one oh god i don't have it open now because i had the estimates opened um just give me one second you guys keep talking i'll get to it um, another thing that we must know is what kind of stone, granite stone, is this? What do you mean it's granite? No, ma'am. There's different types of granites. Well, let's let's put it this way: we got a stone that's up for fifty years, and then it's no good because it's going to be removed. So I wouldn't worry about the specific quality of the stone as long as it'll stand up for 50 years and get marked. There are some of those stones that do not last 50 years, Peter. Well, that was something yeah, that yeah, Chris and yeah. I had looked into in great details. Yeah. That's why we were going with this, with that stone that we were going with, the granite. Well, I can see granite rather than marble, but uh, there's got to be, Seems to me rocks have been around for a long time. I mean, they last well, some, 50 some of years. them are coming from foreign countries. These, these, these are not. This is a local company. 
It doesn't um, matter where it comes where the stone comes from. Well, the granite that we're looking for is coming from up north. Uh, uh, was it New Hampshire, Alec? Um, I I don't know. Probably the Barry okay. quarries. Okay, so these are granite benches, and the one he quoted me um, was the standard rectangular, which is the top left. Okay. Um, and you can get just a, a, a straight sandblast, which is what I priced. Um, and it's four foot, um, 14 inches um, wide and four inches thick. And you can see at the very top, it says our granite benches are handcrafted from many granite colors for anyone's taste. Excellent supply of stock benches in a variety of finishes. Um, and then it says custom-made benches are available and priced upon request. All pricing includes bases. Would you like to see a picture of? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, all right, let's see if I can do that easily here because Okay, let me stop sharing for one second. And I've never done this. So thank you for being patient with me. Ollie, you're doing pretty darn good. I know, I was just going to say that. You're doing you're good. You're doing great. Did I get Let's kicked see. out? I see you, Diane. Okay. I don't see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I've got a Zoom logo in front of me. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. All right, let me just go back to benches. I had too many things open, so well, let's see. Okay. This is not the right page. I'm so sorry, guys. Holly, don't worry about it. It's oh, fine. I, I can see hitching posts, which is not what we want to look at right now. Actually, uh, Peter had mentioned hitching posts, but. Okay, well, you yeah. guys can look at those for half a second. I will share my screen on that while I have it up because. Okay, back to there and share the screen. Here it comes sometime. Da, 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 da. There. Okay. So here's hitching post with the little little hoozy. Oh. They show the ones that are used for fencing. Is oh. that what you had in mind, Peter? Yeah, and it's got a flat face, so you could put in a year or something or other. I mean, it doesn't yeah. have to be if the if the lettering is really the elaborate part of it. But um, so so those are kind of cool because I have looked at those, but then I didn't know if we could get even like a little plaque that could be glued on, because then that would keep the cost down too. Um, in any case, all right, let me just try to find you the bench on one more time and you guys can keep talking sorry to derail the conversation yeah. I think there's sorry. another alternative <laughs> just get a little brass plaque to put on it you can actually work that right into the stone yeah. well let me let me put it in context and i think carolyn's right we've, we've you know economics and holly it, it's really tough i've been going through the budget so just so everybody knows we're just about two hundred dollars shy of fifty thousand dollars we spent. Ooh, wow! What? Well, repeat that again. We're we've as almost of, as of today. The total um, funds authorized by the steering committee and and paid for already. Uh, forty nine thousand six hundred and eighty seven dollars and seventy two cents. Wow. How much were we allotted? Well, the first four rounds, or first rounds from the from the town, were for ten thousand each. So we had forty thousand to begin with. 
and then we went to the town for an additional 30,000. 40. So we spent 49 of 70. Am I adding it right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So um, 50, almost, I would say, you know, we're just under 50. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Of, of 70 allotted. So we're still, we're not going over. I think I, we, we allotted the money to do something. I think a stone to show wouldn't be really going overboard. Um, friends of Deerfield will be will be yeah. sharing it somehow. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't think doing that. I, I don't think all of a sudden to say, oh, geez, we can't do it. I, you know, no, and then we will give I'm, money I, back. I, obviously, yeah. I didn't mean to imply we shouldn't do this. What I what I mean to imply is that the 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 price that we were looking at and and Stan's proposal for the product, I think was fine, but we're, we're basically, we started at 40, we went to an extra town meeting for the additional 30. So we're already into the 30. So I'm, you know, I, I just think that we have, and given the current price crisis, I, you know, I, I don't see that, you know, <sighs> For five hundred dollars, I that wouldn't bother me. But splitting it in, in terms of talking of thousands of dollars, um, I, I have personally, I just have some reservations given what I'm seeing in terms of the budget and what I'm seeing in terms of the town's needs. Um, Peter, I concur with you totally. And um, when we started out years ago, and we knew we would not have everything managed by fundraising, but the notion was that the bulk of the expenses would not be borne by the town. And there was a lot of back and forth that not to worry, the town would have a lot of things covered. And I know that, you know, with that figure, um, which actually surprises me because I think in July, we were at about 37 or 38. So what totaled up so much more since then? Uh, part of it was the Heritage Festival, which we hadn't planned on originally. Right, but that was how much we we did there? Seven? I, it, yeah, it, it, so, wasn't that okay, about yeah, seven? So that would have pushed us closer, you're right. Okay. Um, yeah. But the notion was, and Peter, you can correct me if I'm mis misspeaking, but Way back, the notion was that the bulk of the fundraising would cover the expenses and little would be borne by the town. Which, in fact, is true, though, Holly, because my understanding from Friends of Deerfield is they've raised up over 150 and spent. Well, they've been phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, thank goodness. If it wasn't for Friends of Deerfield, I mean. Our... Friends of Deerfield, how much do you need us to commit to you to proceed with this? Well, it, it depends. It depends on. Um, I'm just looking at their the Swenson website. Um, can can I pop it, up the bench one now? Yeah. Do you have All any right. of the put it on the do screen? You, do you have any of the big like the larger bench prices? Um, okay. Um, I can go back to larger ones, but just let me do the share first. Yeah. Because, or you can email it to me later. That's fine. Well, they have a price list right on their site if you're out there. Okay, can you guys can you yep. guys see? Yep. There's the kidney shaped one. Whoops. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to touch that. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. You're anyway, you're giving us a tour of Swenson Land. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of there. Just hang on. <laughs> Oh That's okay, God. Dolly. I, you know what? Seeing them, they look really. I nice. read the instructions. Yeah. It's a rectangle and and it's four inches thick. So I this one agree. and it's a rock. I got one that looks like that in my backyard, without engraving. Yeah. So. But that that's an idea, you know. I have one question um, on that bench. The feet are they attached, or is it something that can be vandalized and just knocked over? 
There's nobody going to knock that over. They're too oh, heavy. Excuse me. I think there is. Okay, it's, Stan, look at what they do to the poor Jewish people in this town. It's a police station, though. If it's in front of the state police station and there's vandalism like that going on, there's really something really bad going on with our town to have something right in the middle. I can see out in the middle of no out maybe in an obscure place, but I don't Look what they did that. at the Tilson Library at the picnic tables. Yeah. I can lift up a picnic table. I couldn't lift that thing up. There's no way. You need a tractor to move those. It is on camera, though, in front of the police station. Yeah, yeah. These are very nice, Holly. I like so, these. I really, I think this is so, really. So, um, yeah. there's, um, I don't know if I can. One, is one, this the one that says Michael? Is yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 So that, that's, that's more of the, 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 the basic one Standard. that you could, you know, do something on, um. I, I don't want to make this controversial, and I know that, Stan, you've done a lot of work, and it's appreciated, but I, I'm, I'm just trying to be open-minded as far as how we look at the pricing for the town, and I think we have to come to some cooperative agreement on what we do here, because somebody could vandalize a big stone that you're proposing as well, because it does happen in cemeteries. But like we like to hope that that's not going to be the case. So there's also this cool, like little kidney-shaped one, um, yeah, once yeah. with a little curve. So I don't know. To me, like it's utilitarian. Where if somebody was walking their dog, they could sit for a minute. I just I don't know. When when Diane had mentioned it, I thought, well, I'm going to just look up these and see what they look like. Personally, I'm all for the bench, and I think it would cut costs, and I think that's what we have to do right now. So my vote is a bench. I'm for the bench, then, if it's a cheaper cost. Yeah, but the bench, but think about, uh, to me, it's a little bit more inviting, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if if we're, if if. I hadn't thought about putting it in front of the police station kind of thing. And and there is a lot more traffic there. People might take a couple minutes. And, there, and if we could have a brass plaque rather than have all the story engraved on the, which might really cost a lot more money, on the top of the bench, if we could have a hitching post or something like that with the story on a brass plate that's in the hitching post, um, this this might be much more inexpensive it's obviously less elaborate but but it's also more tactile it invites people in and uh you know we're trying to make it think about how do we get people involved in the in the 400th so if people are thinking about the you know the time capsule and you know what if they had family that was, was participating in Founders Day, like if some of the kids brought their kids there or something, I mean, that's kind of exciting, actually. So would you put the, you just put the bench next to the time, next to the spot you put the time capsule in? Yes. Yeah. But I also like the idea of the hitching post with the story on it, Peter. But if but if we did it with a brass plate, it might be far cheaper. Yeah, than, that could be just glued on. Then, well, not glued on, but they they can embed it, Holly. But um, that way, we could have the whole story of the time capsule and all that kind of stuff, and all you know, get into the elaborate story of it without costing a lot of money in the engraving on the actual um, bench. Yeah, it might I mean, be. We have to just look at. I think it's just a matter of looking at the combination. You know, what are we coming up as a combination? But I, I have to say, I'm really drawn to the bench just because we want people to participate. So even if you just sat there for a couple of minutes, you you have people participating in something versus yeah, just just. I'm glad we're thinking about moving it away from the library because I I'm I'm not sure if we get anybody even to notice it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. yeah. A bench, bench is so inviting. Social. Yeah, it's social. We're talking about trying to increase the sociability 
of the whole mm -hmm. downtown of South Deerfield. And that's, what was the price that was part had, of it. What was the price you had said, Holly, for the bench and the base? The whole um, kit and the, couple the, of the basic bench that's four foot, just a straight rectangular one, was three ninety five. And plus, how much for engraving? Well, what kind of engraving? Did like, they give you any everything standard? that was proposed? Did they give you any info, or did you just? Um... Yes, but are you talking all of this that was proposed to be on there? What did you get in an estimate for? What did you? I didn't propose? get an estimate. I asked how they price. Okay, um, well then give us Stan, that. Stan's well, price. it's. It, it's, uh, it's it's tricky to do because your first the, it, this is not going to make sense but he explained it to me your first four letters which typically is a date or a house number are free okay or, excuse me I, I take that back you have to have a minimum of four characters for a date a street address whatever um, and that's $170, not free. My apologies. Then each additional character is $10. So if you count all these characters, I came up with about $1,200 for all this engraving. So that's where the bulk of it is. Which to me, if we did even just, you know, the, the Deerfield logo on it, and maybe on a little side spot and didn't do anything else. I mean, and did a plaque on a hitching post, it could really reduce the cost, but I don't want to change the whole thing. I'm just giving a suggestion. What about just doing something like 2023-2073? I, really yeah. I really think you have to put what it is because in 45 years, people may not realize that's a, that it, there's a time capsule buried there. We well, will know it, but within 45 years, will they know it? Anybody like who it. takes over the steering committee, Stan, damn well better know it because they should go through the archives and it's going to be pretty clear. <laughs> we had a time capsule and where it is and pictures of it and everything else. And it's all going to be a PVMA. But you could go with all your story. You could tell, you know, say the Pelican donation and all that kind of stuff in a black and a brass plate that would be relatively inexpensive. And you could think, get it affixed to something, whether it's a hitching you post. Think you can get brass plate. that cheap? I, I don't know. It, you know, you talk about, uh, you know, you engraving for the trophies and stuff. I've done that in the past, and it really is not very expensive. Well, it's going to be, be worth it, it would be worth asking, I think, because you you could put a blast plate out there, but it's... well, we were going to do something for the mural, and we were going to protect the mural somehow, you know, archivally mm -hmm. with plexiglass or something, and then have the artist do maybe a string of smaller tile above a plaque to attach next to the mural just so i mean i'm just worried something's going to happen to it so um i mean that's one of the expenses we were thinking about and um if, if we're going to get the explanation of the mural engraved somewhere they could just do another plate or who or however we're going to do that for the um, mural, we could figure out how to do that for the time capsule. And that way you could have all the explanation about and all the people that or groups that supported this and the whole long story. And it wouldn't be that expensive, I don't think. Um, a hitching post with the little um, hook on the front is $289. And if you don't want to have um, that, it could be as low as $209 depending upon how you want the finish. Um, so you're looking at roughly two to three hundred dollars for a hitching post um, if you wanted to do two things. I 
thinking about this whole thing, if you put this up there with a bench and with paving stones, I think you'll need more than one hitching post because it, it'll be just sticking out like a sore thumb. You probably would need three, one in the middle and one on each side, as you showed in one of the pictures where they had all those little stones around the bench. Wait, wait a minute, Stan. Three of what? Three hitching posts? Three. Why? Well, I have one. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb. So what do you put it on the left, the right, or you put it in the middle? It. Depends on how you landscape it, actually. Yeah, you could have one and just offset it. There's no problem with that. Yeah, you know, it's looks, a totally different. I have right. to admit, this is totally uh, twirling around. If you, around a, if you think about the looks, at. Diane, think of the looks of it, just one pole sticking up. I, and you put a few hosta around it and azalea on the yeah, other side. Yeah, but how about instead of a post, we just get yeah. a giant, giant stone. Just, yeah. you know, just a freeform stone somewhere. Um, well, then you have to move it. I mean, if, yeah, if, if I know you're going you to get a really big one. Yeah, I know. But yeah. I'm just thinking, I, think I know the, what the, Sam is th Stan is thinking of. It would be, it's like a finger sticking up all by itself. Well, but. The, the thing of it is, standing up as high as a hitching post is, yeah, it probably will stand out. Drop That's it another sure. two feet. It's the marker stone for the time capsule, and it's not going to matter. You'll have the bench, and you'll have a, a stone that says, dig here. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't a hitching stone normally waist high? I mean, you're not going to have your horse's head in the air to tie them up. No, it's, it's, it's waist, waist high. high. Yeah. But the, the bench is, uh, at least if I'm, I'm guessing from this picture, the bench is about two feet high. Yeah. So um, drop 30, it an extra foot, and it'll yeah. be you know, mid thigh high, and visually it can be done. You know. Well, the other thing I'm I was thinking about, and just in terms of the 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 original monument, is the the structures that we've got now with the time capsule and the capsule that the time capsule's in. That's a really prominent or heavy duty base. The only thing you'd need is that you could drop a stone right on top of that and it wouldn't go anywhere. So you wouldn't even need footers, but that's if 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 we're not going in that direction. Any, anyway, I it seems to me that if if maybe the thing we do, since it's undecided how Friends of Deerfield really wants to pursue it, is we'll provide $500 funding towards this commemorative whatever and uh, leave the decision to them. I'm, I'm not in favor of that. I think we've all worked hard for a lot of years together on this committee. And I really, I want, I want this to be our decision. It should be a joint decision, not just yours. Yeah, it's yeah. that's why I really yeah, feel that all of us, yeah. I, I really feel that this stone would be the most appropriate thing. It fits in with all the other stones that are in Deerfield, in Old Deerfield, um, a stone or a bench. It just I can just see troubles, you know, vandalism, rubbish thrown around on this bench. Um, and our maintenance people are gonna now. I'm against that bench, 100%. I'm for the bench, 100%. How about a bench with no engraving and a stone? <laughs> well, we could buy the bench and let them put up the stone. That's an option also. <laughs> Not to give everything to you guys. But uh, we could do so something. What you just said, we'll put the stone up, and you're going to buy the bench. Yeah, well, it's three, four hundred dollars, four five hundred dollars. I don't. That's that's within our reasonable appropriation, and then we've got both. Are your friends at Deerfield, would we be putting you out to hand the ball back to you that way? Because I know you've been busy raising money, but we've also been busy spending your money. 
Yeah, over a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. How mm -hmm. are you doing? Still above water? Mm -hmm. We're good. We're good. Okay. We um we're planning more events also, not for the three fiftieth, but because was it this one of the select persons told us that the three fifty is over with. So we're we're still continuing on. No, still we're, we're, yeah, no, everybody's appointed through the end of June. So the three fiftieth isn't over. It's we're wrapping it up though. I mean, I feel like we're coming towards well, the end. But the three fifty will continue, but won't the friend friends of Deerfield, are they going to be allowed to continue as a group? Oh yeah, that's a nonprofit. Okay. Yeah. That's a, yeah. and that's a separate group anyway. And they can I mean, yeah. it, our appointments go till June thirtieth, but if if there's a need to go beyond that, we'll just reappoint you. It's not a yeah, big deal. Easy enough. It's just the appointments are just from one fiscal year to to the end of the start, July first to June thirtieth of the next year. So if if there's a need for the steering kit committee to continue, we just reappoint. It's not a big deal. But right now everybody's appointed to through June thirtieth. So um uh, I mean, in terms of active, maybe public presentations, um, that seems to be winding down. Although one of the things uh, I was going to get to it later on, we're, we're working on some of the oral history uh, products that we've been gathering over the course of the 350. So we're looking at uh, a podcast coming out of these uh, oral interviews, and that'll that'll be sometime in the spring before we can finish that. And the other things that we need to do relative to the time capsule and, and and wrapping this event up is we've got to work with Pat on the town report, and the steering committee uh, needs to prepare a report for the town report. I don't mind writing the bulk of it, but I can really use a hand, um, particularly from Holly and from Kelly and from Diane, just pieces of it. If if there's a report on the parade, uh, Holly, if you can uh, sure, sure. help with that, maybe Diane yeah, yeah. Uh, with the postal. I have tons of pictures. I have with, pictures. And, you know, the that's the other thing. Uh, Diane, if you can help with Founders Day, if Kelly, you can do the postal uh, competition. Um, yeah. Stan, what, what I is, you're, what is the Peter? What, is, what yeah. is the deadline for us to get stuff to you? Well, I'm going to start working with Pat, uh, the probably the mid to the end of this month on collecting all the photographs because we want to compile a photo collage. I think somewhat out of that is going to come uh, individually. I'm not sure. The the town report, um, uh, or Pat feels her charge is to sort of spread the, the the whole 350th throughout the report in some ways. So we may well, do portions of it, but. No, there'll be a 350th section and a report, yeah. but the we actually budgeted extra money um, this year. So we'd have a lot more pictures. Pictures, that's fine. Um, of the 350th through the report. Yeah, but Pat okay. is always chasing people like the select board and different committees in March because she's trying to put it together to take to the printers and have it printed in time for and the what we want is it in re, like the week before annual town meeting. And so the reason why is it's, it's sort of like the state of the town. And and everybody's giving a report of the what's hap what happened in the past year, and then the town you know gets together for the town meeting, and so it's traditional to have it out uh, like a week or so before. But poor Pat, I know. Well, 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 when's the town meeting? It's the it's the fourth um, uh, Monday of April. All right, but we we need to get on top of this long before that. I mean, we should have- Oh yeah, no, poor Pat has work. to have, she's got a, she, she's wicked good about chasing down people, but it's- I've been sending her a lot of pictures. 
Yeah, right. it's yeah. really annoying. Those pictures. Well, we've, we've got a lot of pictures. I'll sit down with Pat. We'll go through the pictures that she's yeah, got. Yeah. We can we I know, you know, basically all the events and we'll see what we're missing and then we'll start. Yeah. The, the of, idea you know, is we'll to have there, as many but we as... we need the, the text to go with it. I mean things, you know, for the parade, who was who yeah. was in the parade, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a you know that was a really critical event for us and, i did yeah. send the pictures of the parade to pat already okay. and i can send founder's day i mean not founder's day uh the postal thing oh yeah. perfect. and, and yeah. gene gene soika sent me uh something already on the uh, uh heritage festival so yeah, that, that, I, that i can work in there uh, i can do things like the cake and and the speakers programs and that sort of thing and i think Putting it all together, if you can write up a little blip on each of these things, then just send it to me, and I will work to combine it into one composite report. Thank yeah. you. We nicely stepped out of the stones. I know we did, talking, but that's what resolving. Uh, how, how are we going to re at least resolve this about the stones? How are we going to do this? Uh, the friends of Deerfield are the only ones that can actually buy the stones, be it a bench or, or a tablet. Is that not correct? That they're the ones that have the tax ID number. Oh, the town um, has a tax ID the, number. Yeah, okay. yeah the town has a tax ID. So we each can we each can purchase something. Is that how that goes? Are we oh, going to get? Yeah. Okay, are we going to give any money to FO uh, Friends of Deerfield, or how are we doing that? <laughs> well, the bench, the bench without anything writing was that three ninety five, the one that you uh, at the standard forty eight by four inch by yeah. fourteen, I mean, something like that. Yeah, I can get pictures to everybody so we can make a decision. But the basic four foot, I think fourteen deep and four sure. inch thick slab sitting on a base was 395. Okay, that's what I wrote. And it doesn't have to be a polished edge. No, no, no I think polished nice. just, yeah, that's a whole other, yeah. Okay, so. But there is pricing for that. So I could get a handful of pictures and some pricing to our group. So we could look at that. And then I'm happy to, reach out for an exact estimate with this company if right. people want to pursue it. Um, so are we going to um, vote on any money for Friends of Deerfield? I think this is the third meeting that we've been sort of kicking it down the, down the road um, and oh. to let them proceed in some way, at so, least to, to negotiate with the vendor. I, I just have a question. So, the text that we um, proposed, um, is that okay? Um, is that not okay? Do you want to change I, it? Can you make INC small? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I, I didn't like that either. Like, hmm. I just saw that and I was like, oh, that's not right. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I don't see why don't. not, Alec. I mean, it, it is a, as a combined, as a joint uh, composite. It's still the Friends of Deerfield in the town. Okay. Um, I, I don't know, see why we need to have funded by. I think if the two entities are listed, I think it's implied. Actually, that's... Yeah, that could save some... Yeah, yeah. Well, save yourself a few bucks if you take that <laughs> off, if, if yes. it's by the letter. <laughs> I, I guess what I'm getting at is... I'm willing to, and Chris isn't here, so I don't, I really don't want to vote personally for on the friend side. I don't want to vote for anything. I'd rather have Chris be here and we can talk about it, but um, at least on our end, by all means, if you guys need to vote, vote. Um, I'm not opposed to doing the bench. Um, if that means that we are, are more um, collaborative on it, I... I I see maybe if we did two benches, two small benches with the stone, that would that's more of a pike dream, but mm -hmm. that way you're sort of building it out. Maybe you could do the stone, I mean a bench for the four hundredth or something. Um <laughs> but 
um I, I guess I'm not opposed to the bench. I'm I think it and if we did the engravement uh, graving, um I would be interested to see what the pricing is. And you could probably get rid of the funded by um you know the friends are still on there that yeah. that's good the town is still on there the the logo and buried 2024 i think is also important okay, so, so yeah. um I, i'm not dead set on the stone um i think the stone again you could for 450 400 you could do two more benches and you could build that space out um so i i guess i haven't heard like no that's terrible so um i don't know um well we're looking for the thing of it is alex we're looking to keep the price as low as we can so yeah, building no, out absolutely. Beyond what we're already talking about is <laughs> it's kind no, of counter to, it, counter to that no i know i know um hmm. i guess that just the bench would have to be um if the friends were going to go to go in with the the steering committee on the bench um but i'd have to i think if chris was here we could talk it out further well, but what just if, so we have one thing instead of two separate things you know what i mean i oh you mean one group yeah one of yeah, yeah we I, everybody I is all in on the stone or the bench i mean I like that. I'm totally You're... on for the bench. Yeah. Okay. I mean, given where it's going, I I think the bench is a really cool idea. Yep. Um, and if you can contemplate the three fiftieth or whatever sitting on the bench, and you've got a stone that's labeled, there's, there's a time capsule here. It's a nice combination. But if you can handle the bulk of it, maybe, I mean, we can, what, let's see. So you're looking at, what would people think if, if we put in a thousand dollars towards the combined Are and we talking can, about doing this big stone that's being proposed and a bench? No, no, no. My goal was to do a bench as, as one option versus having the bench and the stone. Oh, okay. Okay. Again. So, <laughs> so what we like would be voting on is is a thousand dollars towards a like bigger bench with some, um writing on it is that correct then as one option or just do the bench and we can do the stone um i i don't i guess personally i don't like that because i i just i don't know um it's like we're dividing for no reason i may be reading into it too much but um i would prefer to have one thing Joint but that's project. just me you know yeah. that's why i was thinking if we combine the two but we had a thought it, it i'm i'm just looking at people on the steering committee in terms of what are you willing to, what do you think is reasonable for us given the budget constraints to contribute towards the project? I wouldn't want to go more than a thousand. A thousand would be the upper end. But, uh, you know, if we were doing a bench together, a bigger bench um, with minimal writing on it towards that, I mean, that makes sense. I I really I guess I'm personally in favor of the bench as well, just because I think it's inviting. Whether we do the stone in the bench or the bench in lieu of the stone, I don't know. But I I like the bench idea and I like the location much better than the library. Location. And and I like the idea that it's inviting and it's your people are gonna be thinking about the time capsule. So so we're going to have to have some writing of some sort to identify this as the time capsule place. Um, so however, you know, the proposal comes back, I, I, I think it's worthwhile because you're, you're, you're enhancing the, the whole area. 
and it is a you know memory kind of thing versus um you know event that's come and gone um stan you seem to you have gone to uh you got your bids from someplace up in greenfield uh are they do they do benches everybody does benches all okay. monument companies do benches and stones and and hitching posts and and anything with stones. But the important thing is we get the right stone from the right, from, from the unit, from this country. Would you be willing to look into that at the company that you had gone to previously and um, see what we can do? And maybe we can do all of this in text at some point um, or else have another meeting about it. We'd have to have another meeting about it because yeah. it has to be posted. Okay. Any decisions right. are going to be made. It has to be posted, and you know, so it's not in violation of open meeting law. Of the rules, yes. You know, as us as a steering committee, the the friends yeah, of Deerfield can meet no, no. never. Yeah, need it. Well, let me let me throw this out. I mean, it, it seems that um, you know both the steering committee and the friends of Deerfield have gotten new information, and I have talked about new things. Each of us are going to need to deliberate, deliberate. Uh, and, and so I hate to keep putting this off, but, and I, and I think we're at some kind of consensus with the steering committee that we've got, we can put in up to a thousand dollars perhaps for this project in, uh, and, and join friends of Deerfield with it. So that's information that they can play with too. So why don't we just table further discussion tonight we'll each we'll each independently um you know think about the, the different proposals uh i think we've certainly got some viable alternatives here to come up with a good final product so if we table it tonight then the next meeting hopefully we can get back together again we'll have sorted out our internal questions about financing and whatever and we can come together. If, if Friends of Deerfield is comfortable going in a different direction or a, a, at a certain dollar amount, um, then that I think comes into play too. But they'll know what they have from us. I, I think, you, I think the would you, would, would, sorry, Holly, go ahead, I'm sorry. Would you like me to get um, something more official and send out some pictures from the vendor I, I talked to? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Awesome. And I and I think Carolyn too, if you if you know somebody that can uh ask the questions about a brass plaque, brass is not cheap. Yeah. So I'm I'm really curious as to whether how much we could get transcribed onto a brass plaque. Okay. Well, we were gonna do that story on the mural. So I mean, I know we're gonna be looking at pricing for that story so at the same time we can get figure out how much well, yeah i mean if you could, if if you want to go in that direction too i think before yeah. we get too far down that track though we really need to talk to judith and see whether she's got you know ceramic tiles that she can yeah, commit to something additional but yeah diane yeah i just want to let alex and stan and and chris eventually if he tunes in um that we really appreciate all the work you've done uh but you're changing the venue by the police station inspired us it's got us going about how can we really make since there's a place in town we want to enhance it we like this idea so we i know we acted wishy-washy for a little while trying to figure out what we want to do but we think we want to really do it good and um, it just, I guess we're going to have to take another month on this one to... Uh, yeah, and we really don't have another month if you want this bench for uh, Founders Day. I I mean, I don't... Okay. It's something we have to do as soon as possible to get one in. Well, do, should we do a meeting in a couple of weeks? Is that a, what, would, what we would need? or? Uh, what I would like to know is what you're planning on putting on that brass marker. Um... We're, we're meeting in three weeks regular. Our next meeting is the 29th of January. 
thought our next meeting was the 5th of February. Are we uh, meeting on the first Feb first Monday of the month, not the last one? We've or? always been doing the last Monday, oh, but we okay. skipped yeah. the last one because of the holiday. Yeah, holiday. Okay. I... <laughs> So well, what's the, we, what's the we, re, we retrained you, Pete. <laughs> and 29th. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we do have subcommittees work on this. So let's get some information uh, and bring it together for decision on the... 29th. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I really... I'll, I'll get a date from Swenson as well to see what what their deadline is yeah okay. sorry sorry stan we uh we don't mean to be so wishy-washy on this one uh we're just trying to get it right i think okay i have to say i'm really impressed with the idea of uh the bench though i really like that i think it's so inviting and that's what we want. We want people to think about stuff and be be pulled in. So whatever we do with the bench, I, I really like the idea of the bench. Let me propose one other thing right, right now. Okay. We're going to do the paving stones. What if we put two benches on each side of the paving stones and in the middle, that hitching post? That way there, it's sort of, it, 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 it fills off that little and finishes up. It's just not a bench sticking out in the middle of the grass there. That's fair. I, yeah. How's that drop the price? Do you have any idea what hitching post costs these days? Uh, to 289. 289. 289. 289 I, worldwide. I, okay. I, I, I saw and 289. Four piece were eight. So we're up to eleven hundred dollars. That's before plus any engraving. engraving. Plus engraving. Yeah, yeah but look, let's 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 figure out how we're going to do the, I mean, that's, it is expensive to engrave. So let's see what brass, what a brass plate would, with the same wording on would be that you could embed into the hitching post. Well, and also, I mean, we're talking about doing pavers. That's a whole, like, that's, huge cost. That's later. That's not now. That's, that's, that's a now. Friends of Deerfield, um, be a fundraiser for Friends of Deerfield. Yeah. Yeah, it's only to enhance the area, Holly. That's not our project. But but that would be after all this is in place. If we could sell pavers before, yeah. that was we would start it before. And if it's after, it's after. It depends on how many people wish to have their name put on a paver. Right, but all of that would be installed. Right. No, yeah, I, I think, mean that's because, that's a huge project. Yeah, I think we're jumping ahead. I, I like the idea yeah. of the pavers, and I think that's a good idea. But since it's on town property, I think we may it may become too complicated to get it done by Founders Day. Yeah. Um, but we could pitch the idea. We're selling pavers. Are you interested in doing that? Um, because yep. I don't. I don't think we could do that. Yeah. yeah. That no, I, I love I love the idea of the pavers because way back when we were potentially going to do the North Main Park. That was a, one of our ideas from way back to do pavers and, you know, where people would get, have things engraved. So I love the idea from way back, but it's it would be very time consuming. I mean, we had paver work done and it's months of work. So it's not anything that just gets installed. And and I'm going to be very cheeky. If we don't have money in the town budget, we can use the pavers to make the sidewalk to the existing town offices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I know. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, it's a good idea. I like your idea, Alex, Stan, whoever put that idea together. It's it's a good idea. Let's um, it's evolving. And it's evolving. It's moving forward. Uh, I think the, month, the benches, we're getting the benches, they have those kind of things in stock. So it'd be a yeah, lot less. Yeah. It's engraving that's expensive. And it's also what's the backup. So, and unfortunately, a lot of people die in the winter. So they, um, they I have, have a lot I, of people. I have an odd question. Um, um, Carolyn, um, does it, Kevin Scarborough's, the, the, they must have a, a 
a stone boneyard or something, do they have old slabs to lay under a bench as a uh, as a base? If we didn't buy a base from somebody, do they have old bases around or old pieces of slab? You but don't need a base. No. You also, you also want to make sure, uh, you it's know, you be, something. yeah. It's, it's, I don't know, what Kevin. Be... We 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 don't we've not done a granite work in town as a town, so we don't have that kind of stuff laying around. Okay. But, um, Kevin might lay his hands on a little bit of stuff because this has a boneyard. Yeah, yeah uh, well, know. Mass DOT had to take out that whole island in our in Route Five and Ten, so I don't know. know what happened to yeah. all that stuff. It maybe maybe gone to another job, but yeah. um, maybe Kevin had access to a couple pieces. I don't you know. Never know. You never yeah, know. I have a question. Um, Holly just says we don't need a base. So what are you going to have? Grass underneath the bank so that somebody has to go and cut it. No, you do a bed of stones that it gets set on. I'll get the information with yeah. the estimate. But those are heavy. You got to put it on something. Right. right. But not, you don't have to pour a base or have, you, you can put it on stone. We actually, in Everybody our knows. neighborhood, we, we bought one in honor of one of our neighbors who passed and had it installed. Um, uh, near the walking trails that were purchased by him and his wife. And it's just on the ground because they're hardy enough. If you've got nice solid ground and it's been out there for years and it looks fabulous. Okay. All righty. Well, the, um, it is hard packed in front of the town hall. Cause that's, you know, was <laughs> an elementary school before years ago. So um, oh, yeah. it, it certainly is certainly hard packed out there. So it is a solid area. Um, I need okay. to leave at eight o'clock. So I don't know if we can move on. Are we, are we since ready we're to move on? Postponing this. Or... I, I think we can table this, this yes. discussion until we resolve it on the 29th. And resolve uh, it. And does that also include what you're putting inside your, your, your portion of the um, time capsule? No. No. And the reason for that is I see a lot, months worth of work to figure out exactly what's going in the time capsule. And I have some real questions too. Do we put digital data in a time capsule or yeah. are we better served by finding an archive like PVMA to house that digital data? I mean, one of the things that I can see from the steering committee, for example, is we have all our minutes from the from the meetings. Um, you know, do you bind that in a book? Do you put that in the time capsule? Or do you put it in an archive somewhere? No, that's really. Uh, boring. I have to say that's really boring. That should be an archive thing. Not. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Maybe with a reference, a reference sheet to where they are in the archives. Yeah, or you maybe you can make a master list of stuff. But honestly, when people get excited to on the 400th to open this up we're thinking of a new you know kids that were kids like kelly's kids that won the postal contest they yeah. will be adults older adults right and the, the they bells. Might bring, right they might bring their grandkids come in so right. like, like stand so what you, so what you want is ta tangible artifacts that yes you yes things that are kind of okay. excited P to pictures at. okay you know memorabilia things that are exciting, things okay. that are exciting. But, i'm fine but, i'm but fine I with that it was just a question yeah yeah, yeah I, I i agree with carolyn i think historic archival paperwork should just be turned over to historic deerfield or pvm you know, yeah. that's one uh, series of things that I guess in part I can try and handle some of the, the archival stuff. I mean, we've generated a lot of paper. I know. Uh, uh -huh. Between meeting notes and all sorts of other things. Uh -huh. um, I got a notebook that's about that thick. <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah. So I, I can go ahead and, and, and think about that. Um, <clears throat> So, if we're just looking about tangible items to go in, I, 
I think a lot of it you already have in the time capsule stand. So I think it's incumbent upon the rest of us on the steering committee to add anything. I mean, it, there's a couple of buttons that Marie made for the, the Founders Day and that sort of thing weren't on your list. So, you know, those can go in, but we'll have to, and photograph all the photographic stuff that's not going in. Videos are not going in. Um, it's it's just you know glasses and whatever. Oh, because there's posters and stuff that Stan's got in there, so that's paper. So I've got the book that they signed at Founders Day. Does that go in? Yeah, it should go in. Yeah. Yeah, I just so then we're mixing paper and we're mixing. Well, we, we want some archival. Paper. I bought an archival book, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. That's um, where... Peter, what, what I meant is just boring stuff. No one wants to read minutes. No one, <laughs> if, you, if you think yeah. about it, unless they're Thank looking very for much. something, <laughs> I know, I know, but I meant. Can you imagine, oh, drum beating and then opening up and seeing the minute? I, 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 I get what you're saying, you know, that, that's fine. And I, I, you know, I, I, but I think some pictures, like the gala was so beautiful. And, and, and so uh, just a picture that shows how beautiful it was with people, some people. We want people mm -hmm. in there, a few pictures. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, like the parade with the, you know, I mean, the cake plates, having the Risleys there with their, at the end of the parade, that was so priceless. And then the fact that he ended up dying, I mean, that's, that should be in there, um, uh, which sounds sad. But, and then the, the Heritage Weekend, I mean, that was, people really participated and were excited. So just a couple things from that weekend. And then, um, you know, at the mural, un, un, you know, a picture of the mural being, you know, um, having there with Stan, you know, with all the the um, flowers and the and the people around. I mean, not just a couple pictures of all our major events. Yeah. I think it's so huge because, um, you know, you you get the grasp of how lovely they were presented. Um, you know, a couple of our speaker um, programs with the you know people enjoying the food afterwards. I mean, this is the kind of thing that, you know you kind of forget about and so that I think that would be lovely now remember we can put a lot of things in there because we can put things in the time capsule and around the time capsule yeah that's a really a big box and the time capsule is really small compared to the you know the pelican box that we have right and that's really I mean that's supposed to be air proofed moisture mm -hmm. everything yeah. so yeah. um we can I know Rock, Rocky Foley has stuff because he was originally collecting. So um, I can circle back with him. I know he was dealing with some health stuff, but I think he's in a better spot now. Yeah, well, if you can get a list from that, Holly, and I think if each each of us sort of, you know, we've sort of expressed the kinds of things we'd like in there. Maybe we yep. could just write it all down and just circulate a um, yep. you know, a memo among ourselves in, in, sure. in the next couple of weeks and uh, say, okay, then we'll, I'll put a composite together and we can, yep. you know, go from there. If if everybody wants to get me what they personally think from our group should be in, I'll compile the list and get it to Peter. Okay. Um, pick, Peter, should we be, or should we be sending... All the pictures we've taken to you to send to PVMA, all the ones that I gave to Pat Crow for the Deerfield, uh, what, town of Deerfield, should we send them to you also to, to forward to PVMA? Or how well, do we Pat, do that? Pat, has a, Pat, well, whether she publishes them or not, she'll have them in a, she has them in a file. Okay. And, and then when she's done figuring out which one she wants, she can take the whole file and forward it to um uh, PVMA to, for their archives too. Okay. You okay. Know. One, of the, one of the things we inherited are all the 300th pictures. Mm -hmm. there's, two, there's two boxes of them. Um, so those were in the town somewhere. 
<laughs> and I, I can't remember whether Pat got them for me or, or but they showed up at my house at one point. <laughs> I need to go. Night, everyone. Right. Kelly, Night, Kelly. Kelly. Kelly, 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 thank you. Hi. Um, so I think I think we can figure out what to put. And the the other thing is we really had unprecedented damage to our roads and the rain this year. And so Pat will have that in the um town report too, because there's a you know, this is a significant impact on us. I mean, cumulatively in more than my 20 years as a select board member, there was more damage this year than all 20 years before, including Irene. And, wow. and people wow. just and people just don't understand what an impact. I mean, there was no crops in in Deerfield hardly. You know, no I pumpkins ever like this. Yeah, no pumpkins, no squash. This was a. If we were a farming community that depended on our income, like we did two hundred years ago, oh my gosh, this would have been devastating to mm -hmm. the whole community. And there, you know, there certainly wasn't a GoFundMe stuff going on. So I I feel, you know, we have a lot to document to go into the um, town report, but also into the time capsule that will try to capture the activity in the year. I mean, poor Holly and Kelly, they worked so hard for the parade and we, and we had a rain. I mean, but every- But not during the parade. Yeah, only I, before. Yeah, you know, not during. But, but it was it was it, that captured the whole year of rain. I mean, my gosh! Uh, I mean, we, it rained every weekend. I swear, it <laughs> did. But it rained. Yeah. It rained flooded before um, Christmas. The week before Christmas, we had huh? emergency, huh? and then and now, I mean, tomorrow we're going to have another emergency. I know it's two twenty twenty four, but I mean, it seems like. This is just an unending kind of year. So, yeah, so such somehow we got to capture that rain in that happened on our 350th and we survived. Pictures, do, now, we, do we put an umbrella in the time capsule? Yeah. <laughs> you can't <laughs> have mine. <laughs> I know. I'm giving up my rain though, that's for sure. Um, but that's the kind of thing that somehow we've got to capture what was phenomenal into in our 350th year yeah yeah i mean that to me i mean it's just mind-boggling <laughs> yeah i'm just I, giving I everybody the heads up i've got like a half an hour here i've got a push off so do we yeah. want to move on yeah. i have yeah. one think... thing more to say about the time capsule remember if you put any papers books etc and not glasses it needs to go into Ziploc bags or into some type of plastic sleeves. Okay. Okay. I have our I have archival tissue paper also that you can wrap something in that'll will help preserve it when it's in the plastic bag. Okay. Also help protect it if you if need be. Great. Stan, maybe and and also um, Alex, if you're. For friends of Deerfield, I think it's important that <clears throat> if you can put together sort of a composite of your contributions to the 350th, I think that, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but as a fundraiser for the 350th, I think that sort of thing could, could go in. I think, ah. Peter, we are having our own section in that town report. Okay. I know we are. All okay. righty. Good. Well, then that, that part of it's taken care of. Them. All right. Well, the we other things are really to, just... Yeah, I, I just want to say we wouldn't have been able to do the 350 with, well, the Friends of Deerfield. So, That's you know, we need to acknowledge how much work and effort and um, how lovely it was to have them support us. Yes. You know, um, the the other three items on the on the agenda today are really report outs from uh, the historic the open house for the churches uh, the mural unveiling and the history working group update. Um, Alex, do you have any ind anything independently to report out for friends of Deerfield? Um, I don't think so. I think okay. our biggest. So 
Well, let's try was... to go through those then. I think the all three of these events were terrific. Uh, were awesome. I, I think they were well attended. They were well put together, well thought out. Um, if you haven't seen them, FCAT has a video for the church open house. Those are beautiful. Uh, John Jonathan did a really, very nice job on that. And uh, the Ice Cream Social came out today. Yeah. Good. And yeah. then in the mural unveiling, um, mm -hmm. that video is in the works. I've seen the draft for it. He's done a very it, good it, job. It's out, Peter, today. Yeah. Is it out it today? Is. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. Because uh, uh, it, it, we checked back with Judith about the um, uh, the video. She had a couple of ideas, so Jonathan incorporated that in today, this, this morning. So uh, as Stan reports, that's out, and that's great. Um, if anybody else, is, are there any other comments that people would like to provide for either of those two? Or I, I just want to say that I, I never was in like the Ukrainian church before. I, I had gone into the other churches for different events and different uh like food inspections and stuff but i have never been in the little uh ukrainian church across the street from the holy family uh church and it was really lovely and i i, I really enjoyed the open house the church open houses very much i really did there was a lot of his history and um i i just felt much more connected with our faith community and and as a result i think it was very nice. Um, Peter and I attended the Polish Mass at the Holy Name of Jesus, and there weren't a lot of people there, but it was just, it was really special. Um, and uh, Father Korber, who was really a terrific participant in the parade, and their group from their church was really um, very excited about celebrating. A um, couple of things with him. They do a church bulletin and he talked up the 350 as often as he could in his bulletins. And he would send me copies of them all year, which was really cool. Um, just little snippets of things they were doing with the upcoming um, church open house. Um, they kept promoting it within their, their membership, but it was lovely. The mass was lovely. They did like kind of half English, half Polish. So it was kind of good that you don't lose your place. You knew where things were at least. Um, but then they actually had their own little reception downstairs after that. And as far as the mural goes, I was blown away with how beautiful that mural is. I mean, we got kind of a preview of it when Judith talked to us, but she spoke so eloquently um, obviously she paid attention to you, Peter, because she really captured so much <laughs> about the history. And I just like, I was that's blown right. away with that mural. So I think that's a, an incredible capture of our town. Also, it was just such a, a lovely ending of our 350th celebration. Oh. You know, you started out with a gala and went through with the parade and the open houses and the you know the heritage weekend and all these other founders things. day founders day but this sort of like captured everything and it was mm. and because it was going to be here for hundreds of years maybe um it it just it was really lovely that it it was not just an event it was mm. you know, something physically left yeah. for yeah. next celebration i don't know if you realize it or not but her family was there as well and one of the things that happened after she gave her presentation is that uh, we had talked about putting it off and letting Kevin hang the mural on you know the outside. And her husband came up to me and said, can we hang it now? And he had him, his kids and his grandkids there and they all helped to hang the mural. Oh, I don't know, here we go. We, yeah. we watched them hang it, and I was like, oh, my God, don't drop it. <laughs> yeah. um, but um, I didn't know that was her family, and it was to, it, I was outside, so it was so cool to see it go up, and people were clapping. So, yeah. Well, it was I'm glad great. it could be done that day. I mean, it was, it was just the perfect ending of it. The unveiling is one thing, but 
to actually yeah. see it in place is just uh, it, it's just fantastic yeah I don't know if the, if you caught the thing about the fence about if you if you hadn't and you don't have any questions about it, I'm not going to tell you but uh, if you did anybody never mind them um, okay. <laughs> so and then the uh, the uh, history working group basically uh, we're continuing to work on the the oral history projects we've done 25 interviews we've got the tapes of about 40 hours of interviews um, we're in the process of transcribing them all uh, but I'm working with Michael right now to do a brief broadcast uh, podcast taking excerpts out of as, as well I'm not sure how many we're going to use but taking excerpts out of the oral interviews um, and putting them into something that people can listen to so um, that's underway and and hopefully you know sometime this spring uh, we'll be able to share that with everybody right right it's uh they're they're wonderful interviews um diane's among them but the, the the one i've been working on right now is walter kanaki uh who just passed away at age 93 but he was born in 1929 and he began working his farm about the age of five so that puts him in about 1934 he's on a farm mm -hmm. and he's just seen it all yeah yeah you know, he had four daughters and put, put them all to work, stacking a fifteen feet high in the barn. And, and, uh, and he, he would be he would be delighted because the family that bought his farm on North Hillside is bringing it back to life, and they're selling their meats and eggs. They're my most favorite eggs. They're our neighbors, and it's great. And um, they're going to start developing crops in the fields and so it's pretty exciting to see it come to life again yeah yeah that's uh the, the, his parents bought the farm in 1914 so you know we, we we just got that and uh so i think the the initial one if i can manage to put this all together is going to be along with walter diane the melnicks and I don't know if you know Ashley Randall, but yes, she's yes. the commissioner of agriculture. Yep. yep. And so it, 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 it's the time, whole time sequence from here's the way it was, as Walter says, that's the way it was. <laughs> and uh, all the way up to Ashley, who's looking to the future and saying, you know, trying to figure out where farming's going. Yeah. So uh, I, I think it'll be diversify, a good uh, Diversify. <laughs> yep. Yep. So that's anyway, great, I think great. that's where that's going. So Excellent. Uh, also, we're keeping, I, I told you last time, we we're going to keep the website going for another year. Mm -hmm. So what Marie's in the process of doing right now is to editing all of the um, talks that were given at the speakers series. So those go up on, those will go up on the website. Oh, good. And I've also um, I've compiled about ten articles on Deerfield, various aspects of Deerfield history, and a couple of them up there right now. Uh, if you want to look at them, but I'm going to put some more up there. It'll be about ten of them up there. Um, so we'll continue with that. Um, the last thing I put together was a booklet on the churches, and that's that was I've gotten a lot of good comments from that. And thanks to Friends of Deerfield, we got it distributed in terms of some of the hard copies. And we've also, that booklet is also up as a PDF on our webpage on the 350th. So you can get a copy of it there if you need it. So that's my report. Um, I think, uh, Holly, to go back to you in terms of when do we need this, I think by the end of January, if you can put something yep. together for the parade. And okay, everything. so how, how about but by the next meeting or before by, the next meeting? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
I mean, it, it, basically what I'm going to do is take all of the different reports and I will have, Patty, are you awake or are you sleeping? <laughs> you look like you're sleeping. <laughs> but um, if, if, we get, if we can get together before the end of the month, we'll kind of go through the pictures and then I'll know what you have and then I can go from there with the text parts of the, the report. So... Believe me, if Pat gets anything before mid-February, she'll be thrilled to death because she's always chasing people. So anything that we can do to facilitate it to be easier for her would be great. Yep. Just because okay. she know how she's going to lay this out um, a, a little bit better. Because there is okay. a lot more work. There's more work this year because of the amount of pictures that we want in the town report. The, the other thing I'll tell you is that um, the the book on, on, the, on the church is, is in the Tilton Library. It's at the Memorial Library in Deerfield. Um, the churches have a copy and uh, Historic Deerfield has a copy. So good. Okay, next meeting, Monday, Jan January 29th. Are we all are we all in accord? <laughs> okay. The thing I feel bad about is Jean has been here the whole night, and we haven't heard. Just were we just going to get a uh, heritage? I think she was going to listen in, but uh, oh, okay. Oh, I'm I still here. I'm listening like in. I like okay. all your ideas. I like the compromise about the stone and a bench. I I support both things because I think that would be really wonderful. A place to sit and reflect. Um, you know, just trying to figure out, I understand the town's position very well about the road situation um, and just try to find a compromise, but I think that's really nice. And been, Peter and I had a two and a half hour meeting yesterday about oral history and our Eastern European farmers, and we're continuing. PVMA got a grant to tell those stories about Eastern Europeans, and one of our um, topics is farming. And so I look forward to talking to more people in Deerfield about the farming. And um, I'm hoping that Peter will give a little talk later, perhaps in October for po um, Polish Heritage Month about what we've uncovered. Um, he's given us some great town um, documents about the assessor records from 1915. Um, so I've got a person typing those into a spreadsheet and I'm doing research. So one Polish immigrant who came in 1902 had $16 in his pocket. And by 1915, you know, he had property, barns, land, chicken coops, you know, worth over $5,000. So it's mm. just a really amazing story. And, you know, I'm yeah. so thrilled that Peter's helping me. And we've also got a student possibly helping us with that as well. So I'm so proud and I'm so glad. And I, I want to give a shout out again to Alex and to Stan because they've done so much work every time I turn around I say well where's Alex and my husband says oh he's off helping Stan set up something or other and I, I just and all the people on the parade committee that was so wonderful and I think it would be nice if you could get a picture of all those volunteers together because you know I, I really I really am so amazed at how much everyone has given to this project yeah thank, thank you Jane even I have a question for you, Jane. Do you know when you're going to do the open house so that we can continue planning on our hoedown? So um, in, our, in the middle of September, we're going to have the Eastern European exhibit at Memorial Hall, and it will go through the end of October. And we're hoping to do a couple of talks for the public. Everything will be free. And we're trying to borrow um, a hand plow to put on the front lawn of Memorial Hall to kind of be a visual reminder of our community. And um, so what people had to go through to, you know, to persevere and survive and, you know, ultimately succeed. Yep. We have a possible day of Sunday, October 20th as okay. like a reception day. Okay, thank you. Now, Alex and I continue working. <laughs> All right, folks, it's uh, 821. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I'll make, I make a, a motion, motion to adjourn. <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> All those in favor? Thank you.
Hi, Hi Holly. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> Diane, Your I didn't turn. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I adjourned.